Warm welcome to Wembley Stadium here in London. I'm Derek Ray and I'm joined for expert analysis by Stuart Robson. And it's all about action from the Premier League in this case. It is Chelsea up against Crystal Palace. Yes, thanks as always, Derek. We've got two good teams here, so I'm anticipating a really good game. The atmosphere is electric inside the stadium before kickoff, and hopefully we're not disappointed. Here's the lineup for Chelsea. Edouard Mendy stands between the posts. Thiago Silva plays with Antonio Rudiger in central defence. N'Golo Conte starts alongside Jorginho in the centre of midfield. And they line up with just the one striker looking to do a bit of damage. Now he must favour the cross. Oh, it comes to nothing in the end. Really should have made more of that. Well, Kai Havertz, a gifted, naturally left-footed player who can dominate any game. Stuart, what do you expect to see from him today? Well, four goals in his last three appearances says it all, doesn't it, Derek? He's been absolutely outstanding, he's taken the chances that have come his way, and he looks a real threat every time he gets the ball. They couldn't maintain possession. They know they need to stop him. It opens up for Havertz. And turned onto the woodwork. And the keeper taking care of the situation. Jorginho. And he takes it on. And he's kept it out. Fully stretched. Somehow reaching it. Elects to go short. And played in. And still dangerous. Mount. Here's Havertz. And the goal kick is the outcome. And that's an important intervention. Promising looking ball. Brilliantly blocked. It might still be problematic. Well, no damage done. Won it back. Zaha. Well, possibilities in the centre. Zaha sends it back. Real chance. And there it is. The opening goal. 1-0. And they'll feel they deserve it. Well, let's have another look at this. Because he does really well to pick the right pass here. And then just look at the finish, Derek. He reads the flight perfectly and absolutely smashes it beyond the goalkeeper. There's just no stopping that. Well, the match has restarted. 1 0 here. Jorginho. It's with Marcos Alonso. And space for the cross. Great challenge, he got nothing but ball. Wilfried Zaha. Well, he's lost the ball. Now, can they create something? This is looking threatening. who've got themselves on level terms. Well, here it is again, and it's all about the pace in transition. They're so quick to get out from the back, and then the finish is fairly simple in the end. That's a good goal. So back underway, one goal apiece here. Marcos Alonso. 
on to Jorginho. And a pretty ordinary challenge. Well, there is a very alert goalkeeper for you. Pull from the keeper, and they'll come again. Havertz! And throwing himself at the ball. They take it short. It's a nice-looking ball. The game has been turned on its head. They have never stopped believing, and now they sense victory. Well, here it is again, and they go short just to get a different angle on the cross. And it's a comfortable finish in the end, which is made to look so easy. It's a lovely goal. So back underway at 2-1. Tight contest here. Oh, he's given the ball away unnecessarily. Well, adding up all the stoppages, we will have two extra minutes. Good-looking cross. Well, the keeper wasn't fooled by it at all, in actual fact. That is that for the first half here. We certainly have got to give this man high marks for his work up to this point, Stuart. Well, I really liked his first half display. He was certainly the most influential player on the field. And I'm expecting more of the same in the second 45 minutes. So they get the ball rolling in the second half and Chelsea hoping to build upon a largely positive first half showing. Christensen. Conte has it. Mount. And Edouard with it. Well, the counter chance looks very real. Odson Edouard. He has time to play it over. Can he convert? Well, the keeper is happy. The bar was there. No problems grabbing hold of that one. Well, they were so close to the equaliser there. They're certainly a bit unlucky, but they need to make more of these chances. Marcos Alonso. Hudson Odoi. Is it going to end up being productive for them? Conte. And Palace with the ball again. Well, we have 30 minutes to go. Good technique displayed. And Conte in the vicinity. Not fantastic defending. Let's see if it helps the opposition. And I think the threat has been averted. Mitchell. So a throw in to Chelsea. So a personnel change then. Mount. Well, oh, that's the kind of player you want from your defender. Mount. Havertz! Marvellous anticipation. Joel Ward. Are you? Ward now. The ball with Jordan, are you? And he's beaten him here. And you can sense the threat is there. And played towards the near post. Well, I suspected that might be difficult for the keeper, but I was wrong. Now we're inside the final 15 minutes. Couldn't keep the ball. Encouraging move from Crystal Palace. Has a go! A terrific piece of goalkeeping. 
Well, they have elected to go to the bench at this stage of the game. Now sending it in. Simple save, really. Well, pressing really high. Gallagher and played the pass well well it was a foul but good use of advantage by the referee and the cross comes to nothing Havertz Conte has it so here we are nearing the end of the contest. Can Chelsea turn a lead late into the game into an official victory? Stuart, how would you critique their performance in this one? Well, it's been a decent performance from them. They've certainly played the more expansive football and had the better individuals. Can they now just see this through? Not long left. Not do they have it in them to level this. So the final whistle now. It goes down as a victory for Chelsea to the delight of their fans around the world. Yes, Derek, there wasn't much in it, to be honest. Really competitive game with chances at both ends, but they probably just about edged it overall and deserve the result in the end. Well, I think it's fair to say he'll be happy with his own contribution in this game, Stuart. Well, he was a major reason why they won today. He was so reliable and he inspires those around him.